So what does Christmas mean to me? Oh, I've got lots of, of lovely childhood memories of Christmas. Uh, usually around mum cleaning frantically, cleaning the carpets, and they used to put newspaper down, I don't know why, after cleaning them, and having the coal fire, and dad used to make us put our Santa list into the coal fire, and we used to look in the caves to see if we could see the fairy elves, and that Santa was on his way. But as we got older, Church was very much part of our life, so it was always Christmas morning church. And one of the key things about Christmas morning service was a child would be picked to carry the baby Jesus to the crib. And the crib would be blessed and baby Jesus placed in the store. And at the end of um, the service, everybody would, would crowd round the crib to go and see the baby Jesus. Christmas has always been a really exciting time. I just love Christmas. Mum and Dad used to be up till two, three o'clock in the morning putting sacks and filling our socks on the end of the bed with oranges and tangerines. And I remember we used to wake up. Mum and Dad had only just got to bed and we'd be running in. I'd be running in, I should say, saying, he's been, he's been, he's been. And they'd be exhausted and then we'd drag our sacks through, which weren't very much those days. They might have been a doll, chocolate money, the traditional, as I say, apple and tangerine. But it was such fun. And then it was church and then it was family time, about Christmas dinner. It was very much around the immediate family. Dad worked for radio, uh, television rentals and... Um, we never knew who he was going to bring home for Christmas dinner. Mum never knew, but we always knew we'd have some almost uninvited guest. Usually an old lady who'd be on her own. That none of us knew, but he'd always pitch up with this little old lady. It was never a man, funnily enough. It was always a man. And um, they'd share Christmas Day with us. Boxing Day was always at my mum's, where nans and granddads, uncles, aunts, cousins... We'd all assemble, um, all us kids, cousins and that would dress up and we'd do our party pieces and sing and uh, pinch the snowball. Um, and then we'd go to bed and leave the adults. So it was very much around family life. As I got older, I became to understand more the relevance of Christmas Eve's midnight mass and the specialness of that light in the darkness that candle, that light of God sent to us through baby Jesus. Jesus who then died for us. This Advent is a time of, of preparation for, yes, remembering the coming of baby Jesus, Jesus into our life, but also that coming at the end time when Jesus will come again um, for each one of us. And he wants us to be his friend and that's what he calls us to at Christmas, to love, to friendship, to fellowship. That gift, he is the gift, as we give gifts, to represent the gift of Jesus to each one of us. That light in the darkness. And we pray in these difficult times that Jesus is the light of the world. So I just wish everybody a very, very happy Christmas. A happy and holy Christmas of remembering that uh, Jesus is the reason for the season, that without Jesus we wouldn't have Christmas. So enjoy, be happy and love each other, love our families and love those neighbours and friends around who maybe have nobody.